We are at Zoo Culture. For Valentine's Day? So y'all want to see me all right? Watch out, my outfit is ridiculous. In the club looking so conspicuous. Forget about them, I'm gonna spit the truth. I won't stop till I get a minute of birthday suit. Give me a little bit of the off of that clothes up there and over to the front. Touch your toes, I want to live in the street, but I'm freaking the bed to say me. So Neil was done. So the DJ came out. And he started playing like all these R&B classics, right? And then this song came on. And I yelled at him from the floor. I was like, hey bro, let me go up there. And let me sing the ludicrous part. And he like, <laughs> he brought me on stage, bro. And it was, it was so dope, man. I was Let's go. This is cake, baby. This is cake. Come on. Back to Let's go. Come on. Stay tight. Stay tight up in here. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Lightweight, come on. Deep breath. my people and welcome back to another video so you guys saw we went to the gym and now we are back home and i am hungry so on my instagram i asked you guys what kind of videos you guys want to watch and i do tend to add some workout videos here and there but you guys wanted to watch a full day of eating and that one by a landslide so so i kind of wanted to prep something a couple of days ago and i made something but I really do not know what to call it and I never made it before. It literally smells like Taco Bell filling. It is beans, ground beef, Mexican cauliflower rice, and cheese. Or I could also call it like Mexican lasagna because it kind of does look like lasagna, but you can literally just put this on a plate because it has beans in it, it has your carbs, it has your fat, it has your protein, it has your fiber. It literally has all your macros in one serving. So you can literally put this on a plate and enjoy with a little bit of taco sauce. But if you're like me, you know, you wanna add some tortillas, you wanna make a burrito. As a matter of fact, yesterday, Zach from Flexible Diet and Lifestyle grabbed a pita bread and made a chalupa with some chicken. So why not make ourselves? I mean, it already smells like Taco Bell filling. Might as well make a Taco Bell chalupa. <laughs> The amount of filling that this has, one chalupa is enough. Now, of course, we're going to add some taco sauce to this, man. Because we dig in. It's like just so big, I don't know where to start. The texture this has, man, crunchy on the outside, but very, very soft in the inside. It kind of mimics the flatbread from Taco Bell perfectly. If you guys make my Mexican lasagna, the one that I just showed you guys, you guys could literally do anything you want with it. Tacos, burritos, chalupas, eat it as it is. Meal prep that, you have four servings for the week filled with protein, carbs, and fat. How much easier do you guys want it, for real? So we are back and even though I did eat kind of early or earlier than what I when I usually eat You know, it's already gonna be five o'clock in the afternoon and I'm starving and obviously Jocelyn's gonna be here any minute and I spent the last 30 minutes cleaning cuz that's how I do it you know? So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna make some quick and easy cheese sticks 
I had never done these before, but I think I saw some dude make these a couple months ago and light bulb, four ingredients, easy peasy. I don't know if I have to freeze these bad boys, but I'm not going to because time is of the essence right now, so let's do it. I didn't even follow these, I just winged it. It's still delicious, but <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna take these out. Guys, I could have sworn that I put nonstick in the bottom. I think we salvaged some of it. So we have four cheese sticks. Look at these. They look pretty damn good. Macros are in the bottom of the macros for these are insane. How is there like over 50 grams of protein in here? So we're gonna go ahead and give these a go, man. So guys, highly suggest you guys try this recipe out. I wish I could shout out the guy on TikTok that I saw make these. Wherever you are, bro, thank you. We'll see you for the last video. We're gonna make a little bit of a casserole dish at the end, so mm. stick around. It's a little bit chilly over here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you break the law, even though the light is literally right there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I feel like that Mexican sign. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Speedy Gonzalez. Good boy. Good boy. Jesus. He may look like a poodle, but he's a pit bull. He talks a good game, but he's a weenie. That's for damn sure. For our final meal today, me and uh, Ms. Sous Chef over here are gonna create a casserole. Now, I've never made this before, it'll be the first time I'm making this and, and I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but what I'm going for is pretty much a ravioli casserole. I got this at Walmart. Uh, for one serving, it's 230 calories. You can add some beef on top, some pasta sauce. If you guys have low fat ricotta cheese, I suggest you buy it. I couldn't find that today, so I'm using low fat cottage cheese. The taste is almost identical, but the only difference is the texture. Like this is a little more lumpy, so we're gonna kind of like have to smack it down a little bit. Enough talking, let's make the recipe.
left before the cash roll comes out. But in the meantime, within those four minutes, we're gonna try something that I've been wanting to try since I saw it, because it was pretty interesting. Black water. I don't know why it's black, but apparently this has all natural infused full bit a polyphenol containing 77 plus trace minerals, electrolytes, and antioxidants, and amino. Oh, oh, it's pretty nutritious. I mean, according to this, it's pretty nutritious. <laughs> Does it smell like, like Coke. Does it smell? <sighs> so it's called dirty lemonade. Because <laughs> it's black and it's dirty lemonade. <laughs> you don't get it? It tastes like water with lemon. You see? Try it. Mm, it tastes like the lemon dust bottle. That's what it tastes like to me. I mean, with all the antioxidants and minerals and stuff, I mean, <clears throat> why not? Now that we're still here, Let's bring out the uh, casserole. Oh my god, it's hot. Oh my god. You want me to get it? I think I'm better at getting stuff than you. All right, guys, so here is our ravioli casserole. As you can tell, the aesthetics are not the best, but I mean, the flavors I'm sure are gonna be very, very great. Cottage cheese substituted as ricotta actually came out really good, so guys. Macaroni at the bottom, of course. Mm. It's like lasagna, but the ricotta inside the ravioli with the spinach. Mm. I'm gonna have the better thing. I think I would add some more cheese on top of it, like Parmesan cheese. Mmm. The ravioli cheese. This meal came out great. I'm sorry, guys, I'm talking so fast because the battery's about to die. So, we're gonna finish this, eat this up real quick. Sorry about the camera dying, guys. Happens to the best of us. But I will end the video here, you guys. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video if you made it this far. And you haven't already, please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna watch. You wanna see me lift some weight? You guys wanna see me get down in the kitchen? Some exercise con, don't matter. Let me know what it is. I'll make it happen for you guys. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Love you guys, like always.